As a biomedical scientist in microbiology, the role is to detect and isolate bacteria or fungus or parasites, viruses. We can use a range of methods to do this. Once we have the results, those results are fed back to consultants who review them and then those results are issued to the wards where the clinicians will make their decisions on treatment. I've been in the role for nearly 40 years. Since I've been here, I don't suppose I've ever really wanted to get out of it, but I started off at university doing a biochemistry degree. I ended up with a kidney stone, so I missed out on the end of year exams and got a job in the laboratory you know, at uh, a hospital. And I've been there ever since. I've tried teaching, working in a shop. I was actually a student nurse before I came into this role, and I didn't feel that I was getting what I wanted out of being a student nurse. And someone sort of said to me, well, you're very methodical, you're very logical. Have you tried working in the labs? Look at the laboratory work. So I wrote the manager of pathology. I had a chat with the manager in the microbiology lab, and he said that he was looking to take on a new member of staff. So I had an interview, and eight years on, here I am. You've got a lot to learn on the job, because I was working in the laboratory four days a week and doing academic studies one day a week. So you're trying to learn the job as well as learn all the academic skills. So there, it was a lot to learn and a lot to take on, but because of the training that you're given, they, they pace it out and it's lots of small little chunks rather than expecting you to, to grasp everything straight off. It's mainly a management role now. I've got responsibility for a large area of the laboratory which includes the joint reception, the special assay section, all of the points of care uh, related to clinical chemistry and I'm also the senior training officer for the department. Within the laboratory, like I said, we've got the biomedical scientists, we've got lab assistants, we've got consultants and there's also the infection prevention team which is mainly based with nurses that we have involvement with as well. We can all work in all areas because you never know from day to day on the staffing issues, so you have to be able to work in all the areas within the laboratory. But I do have a, a, an interest in fungal specimens, so because of that I've been sent on a number of courses, and there's only five of us in the lab that enjoy that section, so we, con we would concentrate a little bit more on there, but as a, as a daily routine job, I could be working on any type of specimen. The pathology service as a whole provides 70 to 80 percent of the diagnostic results for clinicians for diagnosis and management of patients and, and you're a part of that so you know it is rewarding from that perspective. Without being able to know what bacteria or what fungus a patient has and know what antibiotics to treat them with the patient isn't going to get any better so we are a vital role and we might be the unseen role but it's nice to know that you make a difference in the long term. You don't know what's going to happen next. I have multiple roles now, so I have contacts with the university, I have students to deal with, I have people phoning up for work experience, we take part in interviews and employing staff, etc. So, to me, it's all the, the, the versatility of the role and what it involves in. Obviously, you've got people who work on the bench full-time in the laboratory, and for them, I suppose, it's the analytical work and getting something out of it and knowing that they make a difference. So someone that's interested in this role should have an inquiring mind because you can look at an agar plate, there'll be lots of different bacteria on there and you go okay yeah that because we know what bacteria look significant and not significant on the agar plates they, they all grow differently and it's, it's having that sense of okay there's something on there I want to be able to identify that, I want to follow it through come out with an answer at the end and go, go to the consultant, say you go, we've, we've identified that. A lot of the work we do is routine, um, but occasionally you'll get unusual bacteria coming through or an, an unusual parasite, and it, you get a real sense of achievement by doing that. So someone that's got the inquiring mind to follow something through and, um, and not want to give up. Working in the NHS and working in the NHS for a long time, it's like a large family in many ways, especially if you have ward contact. Where you go down, you don't meet the patients, but you see the patients, but you see the clinical staff, the nursing staff. So it is like a very large family.